Another uh, piece of the Trinity Project in the Great Trinity Forest is the Texas Buckeye Trail. This is an existing hard, uh, excuse me, soft surface trail. We are going to make it ADA accessible. It's located at the end of Bear Street in Rochester Park. Uh, so we will be providing about a mile of hard surface trail uh, in this area. A group called Groundwork Dallas has been out there ahead of us. They uh, put up a covered pavilion and some trailheads out in this area. Also in Rochester Park this past summer, uh, we uh, worked with a group called Student Conservation Association and they hired local high school students to go out and the blue line that you see there is three and a half miles of soft surface trails that these high school kids got out in July and August and built these trails and we were so glad to have their help for us uh, with us and we plan to do a lot more work with them in the future. The red line that you see there is a future trailhead at Rochester Park that we're designing now, a trail that will go up and over the levees and tie into all these trails. And this isn't the end of the trail system by any means. We've got a lot more trails that we're planning on doing. As a matter of fact, this is our future spine trail network that goes throughout the Trinity Forest and the first phase of that is under construction right now. It goes from Loop 12 down to Simpson Stewart and actually over to the Eco Park, the City of Dallas facility Eco Park. Uh, so that's under construction right now, a hard surface trail. The second phase of that uh, Trinity Trail is under design right now. That will take you from Simpson Stewart over to the Audubon Center and there'll be a bridge at that location, a pedestrian bridge that will take you across into the Audubon Center. Phases three and four are about to be uh, contracted out to start design on that and so we plan to have all the areas that you can see uh, in black uh, completed as a hard surface trail. The blue areas are those areas that would be a, a water crossing or the Trinity River crossing. Several gateway parks are also planned and we'll start designs uh, soon. Loop 12, I-20, uh, South Central Joppy, which we'll have a community meeting uh, there in December of this year to talk talking about that and then also improvements to the Rochester Park Gateway. Some of the facilities that we will be putting out there, of course, are soft surface trails, fishing facilities. The Loop 12 boat launch is actually in place now if you want to go down and, and, uh, and launch a boat uh, down there at the Loop 12 area. Now let's talk about the Trinity Lakes area. Uh, this is the central part of the project and you can see kind of here's the, the overall uh, objective of that. We have five sections of the Trinity Lakes Park area and we'll be going through those one by one. First we'll start here at the West Dallas Lake area. The West Dallas Lake is going to be about a 130 acre lake. It's going to have a rowing course on it, an Olympic length rowing course on it, amphitheaters, football fields, um, and trails, picnic areas here. Now here's uh, another kind of diagram of that that kind of shows where the trails will go and connect through this area. There will be uh, ac motorized access from uh, the Westmoreland Bridge to get down to this area. And here's, a, here's a, maybe another familiar site. We're looking downstream now, just on the other side of the Westmoreland Bridge, but perhaps in the future, this is what you'll see. Uh, the rowing course there, not only for rowing, but it can also be for casual boating. We also expect to have uh, wetlands, floating wetlands out there to be used for the lanes uh, for the rowing course. And, and of course, um, we really expect a lot of activity in and around this lake. Uh, our amphitheater on the other side of the lake will be used for concert venues, watching the rowing, watching fireworks. Uh, there'll be room out there for plenty of parking in this area, and you'll be able to access this from the Westmoreland Bridge. Um, another project that's kind of gotten started, but we need to actually work on completing this, is the Bernal Trail. Now, there's a portion of this Bernal Trail that's been completed through Tipton Park, right there in the center of your uh, screen there. The ultimate length of this trail would be 3.17 miles, and so we need about $2.5 million to fund that. But the, the remaining part here, you can see this green line that goes along the levee top. That's part of the existing levee top trail, so we want to tie in this red line uh, with the levee top trail and then tie in this line to the levee tops. This would be a sidewalk connection to the J.C. Zaragoza Park. Um, a couple of items that are already constructed in the Trinity Project. I mentioned the Trinity River uh, Levee Top Trail. We will be having our sixth annual 10K run in March of next year. That, that trail starts at Sylvan Avenue, runs along the top of the levees down to Westmoreland, then circles back around. Uh, last couple of years, we've had three or 400 people come out there for that run, so they really enjoy running on top of the levees. There's also a boat launch at Sylvan Avenue that you can launch a canoe or a small watercraft uh, right there at Crow Lake. 
Uh, moving on down into the recreational fields, which are also very near to here. Uh, actually, Hampton, excuse me. Actually, Hampton, uh, Hampton is is right in is the roadway on the on your left hand side of your screen, and Sylvan is the roadway that crosses on the right hand side of your screen. We expect to have about 17 regulation sized fields, plus also just some open space for those uh, informal games, throwing the frisbee, or having some games that are less structured than that. 1,600 parking spaces in this area, so there ought to be plenty of room uh, for everyone to park. Restrooms and concession areas are also planned for this area. And here we have a view of what that might look like if you're running along the top of the levee, just lazing on the side of the levee, or, or, or parking down there with the, the uh, ball field. So this will be a great addition to this area. Moving on downstream then to the urban lake, we've got an urban lake that's about 90 acres uh, in size. We also expect to have a pavilion, some promenades, uh, the Trinity Overlook, which I'll show you in just a minute, has also been complete in this area. Here we, you see we have our urban, urban lake. Uh, up at the upstream end here, you have a large pavilion. I think I have another picture of that pavilion on the next screen. Yes, I do. This pavilion in this area will accommodate about 300 people. Uh, it'll have uh, tables, we can have tables and chairs, have barbecues out there, picnics, reunions, and so forth. Um, so that'll be a great addition, be a nice gathering place for people. Um, this is the Trinity Overlook. Some of you may have noticed this as you're going along Beckley or Commerce. It's located on the West Levee. Uh, it's nearing completion. There's a couple of items that we're missing at this point. But you can see it's got a canopy, a shaded canopy, a place for you to sit. It's on top of the levee. Uh, this is Commerce Street in the background. And this will be, able, be a place where you'll be able to sit up and watch the Trinity Project unfold over the next several years. We'll have a ribbon cutting event in December uh, of this year for this. This location right here will have a kind of a set of binoculars so you can look out over the whole Trinity project. There'll be signage that says, you are here and here's what you're going to be seeing in the future. So a really nice, uh, exciting place for you. And again, that's, that's uh, there right now and it just recently uh, was completed. Another thing that we're doing for West Dallas is we're helping to keep those levees clear of our transmission lines. And this is something uh, that we fought hard for. Uh, Encore came in and wanted to put a new 345 kilovolt transmission line and they wanted to run it primarily along the route you see here, but they wanted it to all be above ground. And so uh, we went down and talked with the PUC and we asked them to please allow us to at least put section C, which is down here along the West Levee, put that underground. Now this is unprecedented because in the United States of America, the 340 feet, 345 kV transmission lines, there's only about 10 miles of it buried in the United States. It's very big, it takes a lot of space to do, it's very expensive. Uh, we've got about seven tenths of a mile that we're doing here. Uh, but they will be having a, a undergrounding, keeping this levee clean. It will come above ground at Sylvan and then cross at Sylvan Avenue. One of the other things that we're working with Encore right here at the end of the Sylvan Bridge, they are going to be putting a transition station, but we are talking to them about putting a pocket park in that area to kind of hide uh, that transition station as they put in their, uh, their work there. Moving on down then to the urban lake detail, here we have an area that we're showing the, the urban lake, the central island, the various shade structures that we have in this area, uh, an area really where people can just go and gather and, and have uh, open space to, uh, to run and play. Version of that at nighttime, uh, these shade structures are proposed to have solar panels on them to provide illumination at night. And then here is the promenade. This is the uh, kind of the hardscape on the side of the urban lake accommodates 19,000 people. It'll be range anywhere from 25 feet wide to 150 feet wide in this area. You can see the Margaret McDermott Bridge down there in the background. We'll talk about that a little bit more in just a moment. Uh, the Urban Lake is going to have a lot of interesting features around it. One of the things that the, our uh, designers have looked into is having a water maze. Now this is a kind of a scale replica of the Trinity River as it runs all the way down from Dallas to the Gulf of Mexico. It'll only be about a foot deep, 18 inches deep perhaps, but it'll be something that the kiddos can play in, float their little boats in, uh, and, and just uh, see the, how the course of the Trinity River runs along the edge of the promenade. 